As we were driving to Palm Springs, the weather was getting foggier and foggier as we drove. So Anne asked the model if the weather was really bad over there. And if it was, we were going to turn back and just reschedule the shoot. But thankfully, the fog started clearing up as we continued to get closer. So we got to the car wash location a bit early, which is good for us because I get to see what angles I want to get of this background. And I'm going to show you one angle that I'm thinking about getting right now. So we're in a parking lot and I think it would be sick to get a low angle from here and then get that car wash sign in the background. This is another angle that I think would look good if I have her sit down right here and then get that car wash sign in the background. I think this could possibly look cool and different. And then here's the last two angles. So for this next shot I was thinking we could get a rule of thirds and I could have her sit right there and then have that sign in the back. And then from the last shot, I can come in a lot closer so the car wash sign appears a lot bigger and takes up more of the frame. Once Chevelle got to the location, we started to shoot at the first angle I talked about and we took a few photos, but I only ended up editing one since I liked the last angles that we got a lot more. And then we shot the second angle. And even though I did like this angle way better than the first one, I still didn't like it nearly as much as the last photos that we got from this set, which were so much more fire in my opinion, as you guys will see in a little bit. I just finished shooting with Chevelle, and now we have Anne shooting over here. She does some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna show you what she's trying to get right now. All right, one thing that was really sick that Anne did was have her stand on that rock. I didn't think about that, and now that I'm looking at that angle, I thought it was pretty cool. So I didn't film it, but I got up here really close and then we had Chevelle just kind of walk away from the building and get a couple shots. We tried to get some action shots and we also got a really sick 3D GIF just like I said like right here. These edits came out so much cleaner because of the foreground that we had. That dirt color really added to the whole environment and colors that I had in my photos which really helped make it pop. So I know I haven't been filming when I'm shooting because it's kind of hard to shoot and film. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, it's in a small pocket. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. So it's really hard for me to shoot and film at the same time. But I do want to film. It just gets really hard, but I want to film so you guys can see how it is when I shoot. On this next one, I'll have my brother film me a little bit more so you guys can see how we direct and work with the model. And then Chevelle changed to the second outfit, which was this yellow blazer. And this is the set that Anne killed. In my opinion, she did so good with this look and got super creative with it. I really liked the way she placed the model in certain angles, which gave her really creative compositions. And this one had to be my favorite, the way she put her in there with the leaves and really used the environment around her. This was easily one of my favorite shots that she got. All right, I think I have a sick idea a long time ago when I was in Seattle. Me and my brother took this boomerang of me running past him and there was a lot of these lines that were blocking him, right? And I think I'm going to do a similar thing, but with this little palm tree leaf, or I don't know what it is, but this leaf. I'm going to do the same thing and it'll be a boomerang shot, so let me know what you guys think. As Chevelle was changing to her next outfit, I did see this really sick spot that I thought would complement the colors of her outfit really well. So we ended up placing her in the middle and took a few photos before driving off to the next location. And though they didn't come out the best, it never hurts to shoot it and just try it out just in case. It's better to overshoot than to undershoot. We went to a hotel for this next location and my bad, I didn't get too much b-roll of Anne shooting since I was taking a little eating break. But yeah, here are some photos that she got from this set. The outfit that I had brought for this location was the Lakers jersey and also this Nike headband that went really well with the colors at the hotel. And we ended up shooting inside the hotel and I felt like I got the best photos from this set. But sadly, I didn't film anything because I was kind of nervous to get kicked out. But yeah, I wish I would have filmed. So in this photo, you guys can see that in the building behind her, there's a door. And next to that door, there's two glass windows. And I have to thank Anne for this because if it wasn't for her, I would not have got these shots. 
and told Chevelle to go inside the building and then stand next to those glass windows and I ended up shooting it from outside and got these really super cool reflections and I ended up adding this vintage edit to it that I really liked. My homie Anne, if you're watching this, you're the real MVP. <laughs> I ended up getting a 3D GIF from this angle and I made one of them horizontal and then I made the other one a vertical composition. With the vertical one, I did end up making it a close up shot but it's still the same GIF. I just zoomed in and made it bigger to make it a vertical shot. I don't know which one I like more so I'm probably going to end up posting both of them on Instagram. It's not looking It's not looking <laughs> I'm trying too hard. I'm trying too hard. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's try we ended up shooting inside the lobby and I tried way too hard to get creative so I was telling Anne, yo, film some behind the scenes because we're being super extra. Luckily we didn't get kicked out. But yeah, those shots just weren't working but we did end up getting two good shots from that hallway. And because this whole week has been really tough for me to post anything, just because I feel like it has not been right, you know, the mood doesn't seem right, it's just a sad time. And I started seeing these old videos of Kobe resurface, and this ended up, you know, cheering me up a bit, and just just work, you know. I, I was working throughout that time, just editing and doing what I had to do, but I wasn't posting, and when I saw this video, it, it made me feel happy and inspired, sad too it's weird it's, it's like a mix of emotions but it, it made me feel you know go after what you have to go after and this is the video that i'm talking about hello everyone i'm so sorry i can't be with you tonight however i couldn't completely miss the chance to take a moment to share some thoughts with all of you the lesson i cherish the most is how important it is to love what you do if you love what you do and it's making you happy, all the hard work and perseverance will pay off. I once had a guidance counselor tell me that I shouldn't play basketball, uh, that it would never amount to anything for me. His negativity towards me made me stronger. You can't stop people from trying to limit your dreams, but you can stop it from becoming a reality. Your dreams are up to you. I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard once you find it. So with that, I'll let you carry on with your evening. Please know I'm thinking of you, supporting you, and encouraging you always. Peace.